Any of them? Nice flowers. Mm, no, not that one. <laughs> oh, that one. There, yeah, look, that's a nice one with the bag. Before, I selfishly thought, you know, I'm going to wake up anyways. I can leave things for tomorrow. I don't now. Did you go right up to the I make every day count. Five girls, including my mother, has been diagnosed with breast cancer. I think it was inevitable. However, I did get checked and they said that it's probably highly unlikely. They were wrong in this instance. It all happened very quickly and it didn't really give me time to fit in with my surrounds because I kept working. I hid within myself. It made it much easier, people making decisions for me. And I think that's why I threw myself into work. I didn't want self-pity, uh, and that's very hard to do. A lot of my family I didn't tell either. I just wanted to deal with it the best way I knew how. Deep down, I just wanted to put all my energy into living. You know, you can never prepare yourself for those words, you know, about your mum. She's not just my mum, she's my best friend. So sitting there in the doctor's rooms were, um, you know, a thousand emotions hit me all at once. But I knew we had to get on top of it quickly work with the doctors and get my mum better. We went to every appointment together, we went to every scan, every blood test, and you know, I would never want her to go through that by herself. Um, and they'll just bring in their, their clinical teams to do all that. Yeah, marquee to get a good um, thing. I strongly advocate early intervention. Early screening helped me to get diagnosed at a very early stage. Had I had left it, uh, then, you know, my outcome may not have been so great. Oh, that's it. Thank you. We have a health promotion program here, making Aboriginal women aware of their bodies, we have screening days where we bring the mammogram bus. We have lunch, we get hairdressers in, beauty practitioners. It's a real ladies day. It enables them to feel free, you know, talk amongst themselves. Aboriginal women, you know, young women, they don't want to go and, and take all their clothes off and, and get tested. There's also that sense of, it will never happen to me. You know, oh, that's a older people's illness. I won't get it. But in actual fact, a lot of young people get it. Aboriginal people tend to get these illnesses at a younger age than non-Aboriginal people. The next step is the surgery. And if you can't access affordable surgery, what's the point of screening? You know, the two come together. It doesn't matter which part of the world you come from, if you can't have the access to affordable or free surgery, then it depletes the purpose, unless you're just collecting data. Sometimes we're unable to talk about our own selves. You know, we're too busy worrying about the children, our elders, and so to focus on oneself and one's body, becomes a new experience. A lot of our women are a bit reluctant to have breast screening because they don't want the extra burden. And that's the biggest thing to overcome, getting those messages out that, you know, if you go early, if you, if you have early detection, that means, you know, there's more chance of your success rate. There's a lot of treatment pathways that can hold up or cure you as well, but we just need to give it a chance.